At The Forge, we've noticed a very worrying trend. Consumer brands have slipped into manufacturer-led thinking. Rather than anticipating what consumers will need, they focus instead on what they can make. And what they make often lacks incrementality. They end up creating many different ways of meeting the same consumer need. This isn't profitable, and it leaves lots of potential new value on the table. And we're seeing it everywhere, in every sector. I'll give you three examples. First up, in the lager category, the need for non-alcoholic drinks have been growing for over a decade before Heineken launched Heineken Zero, which left the rest of the lager category scrambling to catch up. In retail banking, it was only after Monzo anticipated the need for faster tech-led solutions before the incumbent banks spotted, spotted the opportunity and joined the race. And finally, in FMCG, Dettol had been stretching its antibacterial credentials into laundry, skin cleanse and household care long before COVID forced the leading brands in those categories to make their own solutions. So why does it happen? Why do ostensibly consumer-led brands miss these, in some cases, very predictable shifts in consumer demand? Well, it's partly organisational. Our business silos keep us at arm's reach from the consumer and create long internal feedback loops. It's partly how we're incentivized. We're incentivized to avoid risk in innovation. We're incentivized to prioritize the same high value spaces for every brand in our portfolios. But it's also because of a mindset. We think about what we can make rather than focusing on future consumer value. We've been exploring future consumer value at The Forge and have published the above white paper on the topic. We've covered, covered the common traps and pitfalls, as well as how the best brands identify and capture future consumer value. We've also included the models and the frameworks that we use at The Forge to identify it and to target it for our clients. To get access to it, just click the link above. It's completely free. And if you don't want to hear from us again, just leave the opt-in box unticked. You'll also find above a link to our monthly future consumer value newsletter. This is where we'll be sharing thought pieces, case studies, models, and templates that we think will help you to unlock future consumer value in your organization. We're looking forward to continuing to develop and share our thinking on this subject with you. We hope you enjoy it too.